This battle was fire! This battle was crazy, son. What? First things first, um, this battle was too intense. You know what I'm saying? I hated the fact that it went left momentarily. But, alright, let, let me just start with it. First of all, let me just say, Nitty and Twerk, two of the best writers of this generation. Up there is O-Rad, JC, and Solomon. But on some real shit, the stuff that Nitty and Twerk was saying was probably some of the best bars of the year. Now, I know people, I was mad at Twerk, too, about the DNA situation and taking all these battles. But let's be real, man. This nigga at least got to be top 10 of the year. He has been dropping fucking fire performances all year. The Verb third round, the Arsenal battle. Yeah, I mean, the Arsenal battle is, like the, um, is mainly the second round people talk about. But that nigga was fire in that battle. Um, the Suge battle, which was a classic. And this battle, which almost was a classic. This, oh man, yo. When this battle comes out, I. Right, so far, battle of the night. The DNA was performance of the night. I still give DNA performance of the night. But this was battle of the night. First of all, um, Twerk comes in there, hooded up with um, Red and shit, right? And he got a couple other people in Red behind him. So, obviously, it's going to be a blood and crypt thing. And I don't know if they planned this, but Nitty happened to have a blue hoodie. And behind him... He had uh, Geechee with, you know, the blue rag and stuff. And I don't know if there was any other um, people blue blue flagging behind them. But the shit, you already seen what was going on visually. The visual of that was dope. Rum Nitty comes out with some incredible bars. This nigga comes out the gate with some crazy shit. Um, uh, I forgot what he started with, but he started with some funny shit. In the whole first round, Nitty was wigging. Bar after bar after bar. This was the Iron Solomon um, Nitty. To be honest, bar for bar, it might have been better than the Iron Solomon Nitty. Because the energy of this battle. Iron Solomon was rapping to Nitty. This was the battle of energy. Nitty knew that Twerk was going to bring energy, so he started it. And Twerk... I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm edging twerk the first round. That nigga twerk. Mm. First of all, it got heated initially. We all know that Nitty's got a uh, Napoleon complex. And we also know that twerk bullies sometimes. So he started out, you know, barking on rum Nitty. Bars fucking out of this world. Honestly, these are going to be some of the best bars you've heard throughout the whole event. And then he, uh, I forgot what he, do, what he did, I think I blinked at the time, but he pushed up on Nitty and Nitty started touching his face and it really got heated, Smack had to jump in between, but Twerk kept rapping, it wasn't like they were going to fight, it was just like a shoving match. Then Twerk said, and the shotgun pick you up, um, lift you off your feet, and then shotgun comes out of nowhere and then does the... Uh, like some slam on um, Rum Nitty. So they were really pushing Rum Nitty. You know, Rum Nitty ran up and pushed them back and stuff like that. So you could tell the energy was hype. They were like really, it was really intense. You know what I'm saying? Rum Nitty, you know, he looked like he was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to play along. But he, you know, he also looked a little mad. Round two comes Nitty. Ooh, first of all, the the first bar Rum Nitty comes with is saying about all these bows, like some nigga bow with you. I forgot what he said, bro. But it was like, you know how Twerk keeps saying bow? He had a fire ass bar about that. First round, Twerk starts out with a rebuttal to that shit. All right, let's go to the second round. Second round, Nitty rebuttals the, you know, the, uh, the slam thing. Sort of like how Twerk uh, when he rebuttaled Shotgun Shug and he sort of like dunked on top of him, that's similar to what Rum Nitty did to Twerk. So, you know, he it's not like a JC Twerk um, battle. Like he's like Twerk's going to be on top of him the whole time. Nitty's fighting back. In the bars from Nitty, insane. This nigga went off round two, bro. That shit was crazy. And then afterwards, Twerk comes. Twerk continues the energy. Bar after bar, up until Twerk mentions the name of Nitty's wife. He's like, I'm going to go get this girl. And then the son. 
And that's when Needy ran up and just started grabbing his chest and pushing him. And it got super heated and crazy. So at that point, they had to they had to push it. Uh, and then there was a brief intermission. And third round, both of them went off, but the energy was a little bit lower. Uh, the bat uh, the battle's back. So I'm gonna just say twerk. I'm edging two one in a super debatable, damn near classic battle. Brother, you 